What's up guys? So recently there have been a massive amount of rumors revolving around Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the last few months, ranging from questionable at best with the quote unquote new pineapple regional variants for Oddish, Gloom, and Blossom, to even somewhat convincing leaks from 4chan of Huecoco's final evolution, as well as Riddler Koo's constant leaks leading to the starter's final types, as well as a very very recent riddle pointing to possibly Luke and Ho-Oh getting regional variants. But in this video, I want to mostly cover my thoughts on Fue Coco's final evolution, or really just the whole ordeal revolving around Fue Coco in general. So when all of these starters were revealed two months ago, there was a little bit of speculation surrounding the newest fire starter for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And that speculation is that the fire starter, Fue Coco, may possibly be the end of the most famous Pokemon theory of all time, which is that all of the fire starters up until this point have all matched with a specific animal from the Chinese Zodiac. And just in case you aren't a hundred percent familiar with that theory, here's a little visual for you that pairs each starter with a specific animal, like Torchic's line is the chicken, Charmander's line is the dragon, and so on. But as you can see from Fue Coco's design and its official Pokedex entry, it is a fire crocodile. Now, if we we look back at the Chinese Zodiac, there is no crocodile or alligator on the Zodiac, which throws a huge wrench in this whole theory that has been going 25 years strong. And given the leak showing off Fue Coco's final evolution, if this leak is 100% real, then I think that we can kiss this fan theory goodbye. But before we chalk it up to the theory being doomed, I honestly think that there is a chance that Fue Coco will still be continuing the Zodiac theory, mostly just because I'm not 100% convinced that this leak is real, and even if it is, it just doesn't look like it would be the final evolution to me personally. But a more concrete reason as to why I don't find this leak to be true is because crocodiles are not native to Spain, and since Game Freak for the most part likes to try to have native animals in whatever region as much as possible, having a crocodile in a Spanish region that doesn't actually exist I find very hard to believe personally. But that aside, I genuinely think that there is a chance that since Fue Coco is clearly a reptile, and that there is a snake on the Zodiac, and this is definitely a reach, but some of this region's inspiration is coming from Portugal, which is the closest we are getting to Brazil, so Fue Coco's final evolution could possibly be a snake to pay homage to Snake Island in Brazil, which as I said is of course a reach, but hey, weirder things have happened. Honestly, I think it could end up being very reminiscent of any given one of the many snakes that are native to Spain, which also happen to be extremely venomous. And I think that would make a very fun concept, since there is also currently only one fire and poison type Pokemon line. And honestly, each type of snake that lives in Spain from the various different kinds of vipers all have their own quirks that could work with this lackadaisical Pokemon. Another route I think Game Freak could go with that will still fit the snake part of the Chinese Zodiac is the Fire Salamander, since this salamander is native to the northern areas of Spain and Portugal, which the newest region of Gen 9 games are based off of, and it is a poisonous creature, so it could still serve for Fue Coco to potentially become a fire poison type. And now yes, I know a salamander is not a snake or even a reptile, but look at Cyndaquil's line. Cyndaquil specifically is based off of an echidna and a hedgehog, Pulava being based Based off of weasels and porcupines does not fit the description of a rat either, and Typhlosion is based off of a honey badger or a wolverine, and none of those animals that I just listed are rats. But some of the inspirations are similar enough to rodents, so honestly I think having a salamander or something similar to a snake is going to be just fine as far as the theory is concerned in my opinion. And of course, if Fue Coco does happen to stay as a crocodile, I'm not going to have have any issue with it either, though it is a little bit more of a reach as far as I think the theory is concerned. And yes, there are also leaks that point directly to the type combo being either Fire Fairy or Fire Ghost, but even if the leak hinting to either one of those type combos is true, my hypothetical inspirations still apply. Hopefully we will find out the true type combo and the actual evolution to Fue Coco within the next week or so with the new Scarlet and Violet trailer hopefully being on its way. And with that being 
being said, let me know what you think. Do you think that Fue Coco may end up becoming more snake-like in its final evolution? Or do you think that this is the end of the popular fan theory? And also while you're down in the comments, what typings would you like to see these starters have? If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.